What's up beautiful people, it's Indarema, welcome to the channel. Today we have this very interesting video and it's about a woman who is in her late 30s who realized that she wants marriage and kids and she has been and feels betrayed by feminism. But yeah, I'm excited to check this one out. Let's check it out. For whatever reason, this article really resonated with people, but you know, when I wrote it, I was truly terrified. Like, I wrote a lot of that. It gets me choked up now. Hmm. I wrote a lot of that article, like, truly scared. Like, I really did think, like, wow you've missed your opportunity like you are going to be alone you're not going to have a family like it hmm. i was really scared when i wrote that like that's exactly how i felt and and when i got comments um after that article was published like i said there was hundreds of guys emailing me texting me linkedin messaging me commenting on the post saying you're selfish you missed out um you know you could have had all that you you've picked your career i mean calling me horrible things <laughs> i mean it was awful i sat in bed reading these comments and i was like oh my god you know they're right you know and they're not totally right <laughs> i don't think i'm a horrible selfish person for not wanting to have children in my 20s and and not wanting you know to have children with for, during that marriage, um, but but it did scare me because what they were a lot of what they were saying they were like you've been very selfish your whole life, and that's what I heard over and over again, and that's actually. But of course, now if I'm getting it right here, because they called her out based on the article, which we're also going to be checking, she is like they are right, but they are not right she's confused but baby girl you were married and you said you don't want kids in your marriage let's say let's say that the man was hoping you were gonna change because obviously some men expect their women to change their thoughts to say somewhere down the road they want to have kids because most men I do most men want to have their own offspring but you chose you stood on your ground you don't want to have kids and the man was okay with you or you specifically said you don't want to have kids without letting your husband in the know that sounds about what a selfish person would do because you robbed that man of his own offspring in that marriage so it sounds about um someone who is selfish and horrible but let's go on and that's actually the next thing that i wrote that hmm. i think will be coming out soon is i got all these horrible comments from men telling me i had missed my chance and that i you know had was a stupid feminist who was focused on myself which i thought was interesting because like i said i don't consider myself a feminist at all but that it did get me thinking and I did write an article that I think will come out soon about about the downfall of living a selfish me focused life, you know, and it does. I mean, for me, hmm. it's definitely started to feel hollow and meaningless. And, you know, it's taken me to this point in my life to realize that that's not a life that's going to bring you happiness. I mean, and maybe it does for some people. I honestly have a hard time believing that. Uh, if I thought I would spend the rest of my life alone, if I didn't think that I would get married and have children, I would be devastated. So, I don't know. It is it is such a me-focused culture right now. It really is. and. I just think a lot of us are missing out, you know, and I certainly have felt like that the last um, year and a half and 
And I'm just, I thank God that I realized it in time because I don't want to wake up at, you know, 60 by myself and go, well, I had a lot of fun, <laughs> you know? It's like, I want to wake up 60. But you specifically said you didn't want to have kids in the marriage. It's a, but it's a good thing that she's coming to realize that all those times that she wasted doing what not she should have used that time very well because yeah they would always say they are not a feminist but sometimes like sometimes going with feminist agenda for women i always say this like people who run with the narrative that feminist has the best interest for them as women i hope they have a, the best time of their life because so many women feminist ideology has robbed them of their happiness yes it's good cute at the time you're doing it but for how long will you do it all of what she said find, finding happiness is, girl you don't need all of those things to make you happy partying hanging out whatever that is where you derive joy and that is what brings you happiness but yeah, like they say, it is their life. You can't tell them what to do, obviously. It's a good thing she is, yeah, sharing her message. I think I hope people learn from this. But the, as it goes, most women don't want to be held accountable. They, you can't tell them what to do. But yeah, she said men called her out and commented on the article. And she listened. Wow, that's interesting to know. But yeah, let's go on. 60, next to the love of my life, raising a family, you know, doing the things that are really important and the things that really matter. Um, yeah, I don't think you're gonna be on your deathbed mm. one day and look back and go, I wish I went to more parties or, or spent more, you know, time shopping. It's like, you know, you're gonna look back and say, oh my God, like, this person I created with someone I loved and you know that's going to be the thing that that's meaningful so I feel unbelievably betrayed by feminism wow. and, and I don't want to put it on the movement because I believe you make your own choices and everything I've done leading up to this point in my life has been my choice and that's on me but when I was a little girl it was like and this and, and to be to be fair, I think this partly comes from coming from a divorced family and seeing my mom kind of handle a lot. I mean, I just saw a woman, a woman take care of a lot. But I also, it, I was constantly fed this idea that women can do everything. We don't really need men. Women can, women can have the great career and and have the kids that they like and change the tires and do this i mean i grew up thinking and men are great but like i can do all the same things like i really exactly that's his feminist agenda they want to make you think like a man they want to make you think that you can do what a man can do yes there are tons of people who are from broken homes divorced parents who have some healing to do some people healed somewhere down the road some people are every having the repercussion of what their parents have done and all of that but sometimes you don't have to always put the blame on your parents sometimes you have to do the work yourself put in the work yourself because heck your parents they had a failed marriage it didn't work for them but you don't have to repeat that exact same cycle now this is the point this is the part or this is the point where you create something for yourself not living under the guise of your parents failed relationship failed marriage i'm sure there are tons of people who feel the guilt because their parents have a failed marriage or they are from from as a result of failed marriage due to from their parents they don't want to continue that type of lifestyle they don't want that to be their case but some people still go down that road, road anyways because they blame it all on their parents because because their parents could not work things out but sometimes 
when you grow on to a stage to a certain stage you don't have to all blame we put the blame all up in your parents the le rest is left for you to figure out and to know what you truly want now it's obvious that she has been living under the guise that she's a, as from a result of a failed marriage broken home her parents are divorced so she has to live with that guilt saying that she also is going to have that type of marriage anyways so she so she doesn't need to put in the work because as a woman you can have your career you don't need to birth children you can do what a man can do you don't need to worry and but bother about all of those women womanly things and that is the problem feminists paint this ideology to people that of course what a man can do you can also do you don't need to have kids in the early stage of your, of your life or your career now i'm of the opinion that if you have the resources in the earliest of your life and you're ready to birth kids yes go ahead because heck let's be fr uh, frank some people are not meant to be parents because we see what people do now so not everybody's meant to be parents we understand that now she robbed herself of the of giving birth when she was married partying and all of that now she's living here in regret saying she doesn't want to live 60 years to die alone not having kids or family by her side in her deathbed because the pattern is not did not fulfill her but i thought that was for feminist agenda that your part your career parting and all of that would give you some sense of fulfillment hmm. so feminists lied to women wow that must be really sad but it's interesting that she is coming out here to say this at least we're getting this is another woman that is coming here to share her pain hmm interesting but yeah let's go on I'm up thinking and men are great, but like I can do all the same things. Like I really, I really feel I do feel in many ways betrayed by that line of thinking. Wow! And I got that from so many of the women in my life too. I mean, like I said, I do come from a very traditional family, so I wouldn't say so much from family, but just a lot of like the older women in my life. I kind of want to go back to some of those some of those teachers and coaches and and say what the hell did you mean by that because really women can't do it all i we can't that's a lie i mean she said women can't do it all really but i thought that was what the agenda the narrative that was is being pushed to women that you can do it all now she's saying that she's from a she's from a traditional home traditional family and the women around her she listened to them not from as a result of a family so now if i'm getting this right it is not a family or because she's from a broken home that made her realize that she has to follow the feminist agenda it is because she surrounded herself with those type of women she saw their lifestyle she thought their lifestyle is cute is okay so she has been feeding off what they've been doing and what they've been telling her that this is the right way to live your life as a woman go to parties have the beautiful time of your life live freely do whatever you can do do whatever a man can do you don't need to bet a child you don't have to bet a child if you don't want to have the best uh, like best of everything in your life and then somewhere down the road you come and you have cats you have dogs whatever that will fulfill you or take care of you when you're much older because you don't need to have a family you don't need to have a child you don't need to be with a man and that is the problem here we have her here saying it is as a result of feminists that feminists lied to women 
The last time I checked, feminists don't tell lies. Are you sure it's the exact same feminist we know? Or is she talking about a different feminism? Oh, now I get it. Hmm. But you see, these women just don't learn. And the minute you try to tell them, they attack you. They tell you you don't know what's best for them. Who are you to tell them what they should do? But yeah, this is the case. And it's a good thing that she's coming out here to share this and to talk about this. And I hope lots of women or tons of people are listening to this. And especially women, they listen to this. Now she's here in a lonely self, blaming it on feminism. That feminism lied to women sad but yeah i'm just gonna pull up the article and read it on here so it states a woman said she felt betrayed by feminism after deciding she wanted to settle down and have a family and a husband as she approached her 39th birthday at one point during the interview with fox news digital she broke down crying describing how she feared she would end up alone and childless wow hmm Melissa Persling recently wrote an essay for Business Insider titled I'm single, I'm 38 and single, and I recently realized I want a child. I'm terrified I've missed my opportunity. Wow. She said after it went viral in November, hate began to pour in for men telling her that she's lived a selfish life. Persling has a much different account of her story of course she would have something different to say because now it's coming from the men's perspective men are telling her the truth as opposed to women coming to support her to say oh girl you're doing an amazing job you live the best time of your life you have to live for you do you it is your body it is your life based on the fact that men are telling her that she's lived a selfish life which in real sense she has she has a different story to say but yeah let's hear what she's got to say when Persling was 22 she married a traditional man and moved to a rural community in Cordelaline, Idaho where she grew up wow she got married at 22 to a traditional man that's interesting he wanted a simple life with children and home-cooked meal she said hold up so the man married her knowing that he wanted a traditional woman a traditional wife and children and she knew she wasn't ready to give him was he aware if he was aware then that is on him is not just on her alone but that is on him it goes on to say however personally despite coming from a religious christian background made it clear to her husband made it clear to her husband to be that she did not want children Oh, she told him he knew he wanted kids. He went on to marry her anyways. Well, that is on him. <laughs> so, I mean, sir, it is your fault. You saw it. She, spe she told you she didn't want kids. You saw it. You heard it, but you went in anyways. It's your fault, sir. It continues. At that time, I felt very strongly I did not want children that I wasn't going to be like the traditional housewife i knew i did want to pursue a career she told fox digital in an interview and i felt very strongly that that would never change and i guess i was wrong no girl you weren't wrong she stood on the ground she didn't want to have kids she knew she didn't want to have kids at all she wanted to enjoy the lifestyle she had forever but now she's saying she was wrong a woman is wrong is this real nah you somebody is playing games here a woman is wrong is this for real but yeah it continues Persling said both her and her ex thought that love could conquer everything but after 10 years 10 years it was clear their differences in life goals were in 
reconcilable reconcilable of course they both had different parts different goals they and there is nothing except she was to change in the marriage which in the marriage she decided she wasn't gonna change she stood on the ground she wasn't ready to have kids she wasn't ready to birth kids but the man married her anyways and of course that type of marriage will lead to resent and that is the call that that is what it, it did 10 years she, she was married to this man for 10 years and it was all a waste nothing and now she's here oh my goodness of course the both of them they are not on the same page so there is no way there is no way they can work together sad she doesn't want she didn't want to be the traditional housewife Did, didn't want to have kids and that was what he wanted so why did he go into this anyways it go continues puzzling said she became resentful when he would ask her for dinner or for his laundry to be done of course he wanted a traditional woman and is married to a modern feminist woman who has feminism at the back of her head so she's not gonna give him that and i'm also trying to wonder how they stayed for 10 years with all of this drama going on or did he just happen out of the blues wow it continues i did little to hide my disdain for our small town life it was a good and hard working man but i don't think i made him feel that way she said mm. authority pestling and her ex divorced she swore off the idea of marriage wow she, i told my friend and family i'd never want get married again i needed independence and a fulfilling career and space to chart my own cause and i didn't think marriage fits into that vision i was content to look forward to look toward a future without a husband children or the trappings of a traditional life she wrote as she grew older however the fun carefree lifestyle being wine and dine going to parties began to get old the pursuit of comfort and self became dull she said oh she didn't want to get married but why did she get married in the first place the beginning one that that is the question but okay obviously because of the failed marriage she didn't want to get married no more now she she said oh during that time of her life after the divorce she didn't want to have to be married no one be the housewife want to pursue a career they didn't want children but somewhere down the road life hit her and she realized that she don't need those things no more she wants to settle down she wants to be a housewife to who i mean girl you don't just wake up one day and decide to be a housewife it's not a switch or a light switch where you just switch it to wake up to say you want to be homely you want you want to have children you don't want to party wine and dine and do all of those things but but guess what that was interesting at that time it was fun at that time but now it's no longer fun hmm. amazing it continues when she turned 38 terror began to take over i was pain straight I was panic stricken. I really thought I was going to be alone forever. I, it really scared me. I also wrote the article as sort of warning, sort of a warning to other women. Really? Why? I don't want people to miss out on the important things in life because they are just enjoying themselves because I don't think that that's ever going to really make you happy. She said, no, don't do that. Who told you that's not going to make them happy? I mean, it is their life. They said that is where they find happiness from. And you're telling them that is not going to make them happy? You're rubbing off feminists from their agenda. Nah, you shouldn't do that. I feel so sad for them. Hmm. 
It continues. She wrote in the article how she felt urgency to find a stable relationship and was rethinking about wanting marriage, wanting marriage and children. I hardly recognize myself, she wrote in the interview. She wrote in the article. I also began to feel selfish for spending so much time focusing solely on myself. My very existence started to feel shallow and hollow. She felt selfish. A woman feeling selfish or saying she is selfish. Hmm. It goes on. In retrospect, Pressling believed she had some if she had some self-discovery and work for herself to do. And it took time to sort through previous trauma. Her parents' divorce, which she described as coming from a broken home, took time to heal and sort through to find out what she really wanted. I grew up in a fairly traditional family, but my parents were divorced. And I would say that probably had some effect on my feelings. Also, feelings about having a family coming from a broken home certainly has its perspective, its hardships, she said. At one point, she recalled a man coming over to her in a coffee store who randomly told her not to lose hope that God had a plan for her. Now, this is the problem. But now, let's talk about her saying she came from a traditional broken home or parents were divorced. I'm sure she's not the only one in these times who's come from broken home, divorced parents and all. There are tons of people who are, who are from broken home but somewhere down the road they don't want to relieve or be part of that lifestyle so they did some healing however long it took them they did some healing not to repeat that and like i always say at some point you have to outgrow blaming your parents or blaming all of those things on your parents because most of the most of what you do it is on you it is an effect yeah for how long will that effect of coming from a broken home rain down on you sometimes just take accountability and work on it because of course it's just some mentality or some idea that it's always easier to put the blame on somebody. Oh, this a failed relationship, failed marriage because you're as you're from this. Like what happened? Sometimes, sometimes people should just grow up and own to their mistakes or own up to what they are doing. Tons of people who are from broken home don't live in that sense that they have to blame it on their parents forever at some point you have to forgive them or move on and build your own life or build a path for yourself not living under your parents broken home shadow it continues and then a happy turn to personal story arrived which she described as the exception not the rule for women in her age group shortly after penning the article she dated a man who she previously befriended they already talking about they're already talking about marriage and the future she dished on the details so it's a guy that i have been friends with and we've always just sort of stayed in touch and we did go on a date about a year ago and i told him i just want to be friends now you see this you see this so she has somebody who she's friend zone telling him oh i don't want to be i don't want to date you i don't want to be in a relationship with you but it's fine you st we stay friends or i stay friends now all of a sudden you want to date that same guy oh god sounds like some people just don't grow up at all i hope this man realizes what he's doing It goes on after her epiphany that she wanted a traditional life. The realization that it was the one hit her like a ton of bricks. The one, how did we get here to the point it was the one prior to this? You didn't think it was the one now out of the blues just because he is available to give you what you want is now the one. Sounds like some manipulating thing right here. It goes on. This guy is the one that God, that God's been preparing for me. She said, "Nah, I've been, I've had this relationship since where 
there were so many butterflies and many like oh my gosh check my phone did he text and i realized that that's no love that's anxiety i never knew where i stood with those people i could never envision a future with those people but now you want to envision a future with this person it goes on perling says she is looking forward to a modest meaningful and happy future moving into my future i'm not going to be traveling i'm not going to be i'm not going to have a lot of extra money i'm not going to be going out i'm not going to be going out for fancy dinners and i'm okay with that she said i'm ready for that i think that's what's really gonna make me happy like i'm not i'm so done with i'm so done just making myself happy wow so going out no longer makes you happy this sounds like somebody who is regretting all of those things but now all of a sudden partying having fun and all of that doesn't make you happy coming from a woman nah is this real no fancy dinner so this is real hmm. it continues you think you're happy when you're doing all of these things when you're single to make yourself happy i don't think you really are is the relationship that makes you happy is building something with another person is creating a life with another person having goals and plans with another person is making other people happy making people you love happy that's happiness i really don't think i will know true happiness true happiness until i'm in that place but of course she's still not happy with herself she still hasn't found happiness and she's still placing or making need to think that her happiness is dependent on somebody else or her happiness is dependent on something else and is this mindset for me it's the first time I'm hearing that a woman would admit to say going out, partying and all of that fancy dates and everything doesn't make you happy. It is your relationship that will make you happy or being in a relationship with somebody or having somebody in your life that will make you happy. Is this a dream? I bet this is a dream. But yeah, like it goes on to say, while Persling doesn't consider herself a feminist, of course, she attributes feminism in part as the reason she had taught negative about marriage. I feel unbelievably betrayed by feminism and I don't want to be put in on the movement entirely because I believe you make your own choices. But I was constantly fed this idea that men can do, women can do everything. We don't really need men. I kind of want to go back to some of those teachers and coaches and say what did you mean by that because we can't do it all no women can do it all you don't need a man i mean feminist agenda is telling you you don't need a man and many people are fine and running with it and you're here telling them feminism is lying or feminism lied to you are we talking about the exact same feminism or there is another feminism you're talking about a woman saying feminism lied I mean, a feminist saying feminism lies. Wow. It goes on. I feel like I'm in such a different place now and I'm so ready for that. I understand what the sacrifice of marriage is and what the beauty of marriage is now. And I don't think I truly, and I don't think I appreciated what family means for a long time. I don't think I truly understand. She said during the interview, I don't care if I ever put on heels and go to fancy dates fancy dinner again that stuff doesn't matter i promise you young women it will never make you happy interesting now she's here saying uh, promising this and saying this it sounds like she needs some really healing to do and she needs to be happy herself but all the same now she's here saying going out fancy date fancy dinner all of those things don't make you happy nah you shouldn't be telling other women that that is a wrong narrative i mean the last time i checked most women believe that their happiness is dependent on these things so now you're telling women you're rubbing them off their happiness but yeah it's a good thing that she is writing there or she's wrote this saying she wants a family she wants to have the traditional family she wants to be a traditional woman we hope for the best for her and honestly it's a good thing that we that she is coming out here to say this. Is she repented of her ways? Now we don't know. We don't know if this is true or this is just because she desperately wants to have children or have family. We don't know the case, but 
obviously let's just see how it goes up please but yeah i'm sure there are tons of people who have got different opinion regarding this what are your thoughts about this do you think this woman is, has changed her ways or do you believe everything that was here or do you think somewhere down the road she's changed of her behavior or this is just a byproduct of what feminism did to women or have done to women i really love you to contribute on this um i wish many, many women would realize this and not fall for the trick that feminism is playing on them or feminism agenda but of course they are women you can't tell them what to do but all the same i really love your honest contribution to this you can share all the useful information you think might be really helpful make sure to like comment and subscribe and all of that stuff and until next time see you in the next video